Hi everybody, so this is my first video on linear transformations using matrices and in this video we're going to look at how we can rotate an object about the origin using a transformation matrix. So we have this triangular object on this grid and we've been asked to rotate the object at 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see what this would look like. If we go to Desmos, then we can transform this triangle We'll draw a box around it, and then we'll click on transform, and we'll select rotate. Now we need to choose the center, we'll choose the origin, and we'll choose 90 degrees, and anti-clockwise is by default. Then we'll enter this. So you can see our transformed image. If we just put the labels on this, draw a box around it, press menu, and we'll label the points. Okay? So I'll copy and paste this back into my presentation. So now we know what the transformed image will look like. We'll label ABC as the object and triangle DEF as the transformed image. So when we apply the transformation matrix to the object, this is the image that we should get. So to create the transformation matrix, we need to use what's called the unit base vectors. And these are I and J, which we've seen in vector notation. When on an I, when originating from the origin, are the coordinate of 1, 0. And when J originates from the origin, this has coordinates of 0, 1. So if we're trying to rotate this object 90 degrees anticlockwise, what we need to do is to rotate the vectors, the base vectors I and J. Because whatever rotation we apply to these vectors, will be exactly the same from any point on the grid. So if we rotate I by 90 degrees anticlockwise, then it lands at coordinates 0, 1. And if we rotate J 90 degrees anticlockwise about the origin, this lands at coordinates negative 1 and 0. And it is these two transformed coordinates that create our transformation matrix. And because we're rotating, we'll say the rotation matrix, which involves our transformed I and J, and these have coordinates 0, 1, x is 0, y is 1, and we transform J of x being negative 1 and y being 0. So we're going to apply this rotation or transformation matrix to each of the vertices in our object. So the rotation matrix multiplied by the vertices of the object will give us the vertices of the corresponding vertices of the image. And the vertices of the object are A, B and C. So we'll label this here, A, B, C. We know A as the next coordinate of 1 and 1. B has coordinates of 1 and 4, and C has coordinates of 3 and 1. So the vertices of the image will be the transformation matrix multiplied by the vertices of our object. And I showed you how to multiply in the previous video. In this video, we're going to work this out using a calculator. So if we go to our calculator, We'll choose menu and then option four. We'll define the rotation matrix as matrix A. It has two rows and two columns. The elements are zero and negative one, and then one and zero. And now we'll define the matrix B as the vertices of the object. So option, define matrix, option two for matrix B. We have two rows and three columns. We need the x values of each vertex, so 1, 1, and 3. The y values, 1, 4, and 1. Then we'll need to multiply these together, so we'll choose option. Option 3 for matrix calculations. Then we want matrix A multiplied by matrix B. 
and this will give us our vertices of the image at negative 1 and 1, negative 4 and 1, and negative 1 and positive 3. You can see negative 1 and 1 is coordinate D, negative 4 and 1 is coordinate E, and negative 1 and 3 is coordinate F. Okay. So I hope this has given you an idea on how to perform rotations using matrices. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe, and you can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, mrmathematics.com.